Cosmos conducts rocket experiments into the sea. Syrian TV shows purported Israeli drone. Christmas celebrations in Gaza and Bethlehem. And Israeli technology helps mobility impaired. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are your headlines for Monday, December 22nd. The IDF said it detected Hamas militants conducting rocket experiments in the Gaza Strip on Monday. During the experiments, Hamas fired rockets from Gaza towards the Mediterranean Sea. Hamas fires rockets into the sea every few days as part of its weapons program. The launches are used by Hamas arms designers to experiment with various projectile models. The experiments attracted the attention of the Israeli Navy, especially after a tense weekend of renewed violence along the border. The IDF estimates that the experiments are being conducted because during the summer's Operation Protective Edge, many rockets were destroyed and Hamas is working to replenish their caches. Syrian state media released images of an Israeli drone that they say landed in Kunitra, not far from the Israeli border on Monday. The Syrian Arab News Agency released a video of the unmanned aerial vehicle showing Hebrew writing and stickers indicating that the Skylark drone was property of the IDF. The report quoted a military source saying that the Skylark 1 drone was flying above the village of Hadar when it was shot down. The IDF spokesperson's office denied the report on Monday morning, saying that it had no information about a UAV being present in the area at the time of the reported incident. The Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem arrived in Gaza on Sunday to visit local Christians who are unable to travel to Bethlehem for Christmas. The Latin Patriarch, Fuad Twal, who normally resides in Jerusalem, led the special Sunday Mass in Gaza for the small Christian population. There are about 3,500 Christians in Gaza out of the 1.5 million mostly Muslim population. In Bethlehem, dozens of Christian worshipers congregated in the Church of Nativity to attend the Sunday Mass, marking the beginning of a festive season in which millions of Christians around the world mark their preparations for Christmas. An Israeli company has developed a touch-free technology for mobile phones, allowing mobility-impaired users to enjoy the uses of a smartphone. The Sesame Phone, a Google Nexus 5 Android smartphone, is equipped with technology which customizes the phone to the user's face and allows navigation with the cursor to select applications and operate features with head movements. It is tailored to meet the needs of the mobility-impaired. Sesame created the world's first touch-free smartphone. It, it is a smartphone for people who can't move their hands, uh, people with disabilities, from spinal cord injuries to cerebral palsy to ALS uh, to more. Um, the, through voice control and head movements, you can operate the entire phone, download any app you want, and it will work right, off, uh, right out of the box. And that's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more headlines. For now, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studios. <laughs>